Here are nine YouTube channel ideas that will make $10,000 per month. Myself and the experts at Whitespace have conducted a thorough market and economic analysis to verify two things. Number one, that there's a gap in the market for this idea. And number two, that we have conclusive data points that said idea can make $10,000 a month in AdSense revenue. Let's get into it. I know I am going to rank these ideas in order of how much money I think they can earn starting from the lowest. Okie dokie, this first channel idea is called 442. And give me 30 seconds and I'll convince you that this can be an absolutely massive YouTube channel. This is a YouTube channel called Fusion. Now they got really popular because they started creating videos where they swapped the careers of famous basketball players and they ran very unrealistic simulations in NBA. Sounds frivolous enough, but people absolutely love it. But this is where we want to get smart with this channel because we don't want to create another one of these basketball channels. Somebody's already doing it. Instead, we want to create videos in a less crowded market that's bigger. Football, soccer, a sport with 3.5 billion fans. A fan base that's much bigger than basketball. So 442 is going to be a channel that runs gaming simulations in the sport of football in the same way that Fusion does. Our analysis is telling us that this is a rising market, one where there is a lot of demand for this kind of content and the supply is just lagging behind it. In other words, you need to capitalize on this now or the window of opportunity is gonna close. For all you fellow YouTube nerds out there, this is the one pager for this channel and now let's move on. The next channel idea is called Don't Die and I just can't believe nobody has done this yet. This is a channel called Evil Food Supply. It makes premium documentaries exposing like the evils of our modern diet. And with a really strong 1000 views per video ratio, they have demonstrated that there is a lot of demand for this kind of content. But I think they're missing out on a bigger trend here, a trend that has much more earning potential than bitching about bad food products. Longevity. And I think it's going to take over the diet space. This here is a Google trend graph of diets versus longevity. And as you can see here, diets have been dominant for the last 20 years. But when we zoom into the last five years, we can see that longevity is starting to become more popular. So what do we do? We recreate the same channel as Evil Food Supply, except we post videos that inform the audience about how to live longer. Same style, same format, different angle. As we'll do for every channel on this list, here's the one pager. Now, without a doubt, idea number three is the most surprising idea on the list. We're calling it Reborn. This is a channel called Redeemed Zoomer, and it makes videos about religion, mainly Catholicism. And this channel is absolutely crushing it, but I do see two ways we can win here. There are three ways you can win on YouTube. The first way is to create content that's just five times better than the competition. You'll have to enroll in my other course to get the other two. Sorry, Taxman is knocking. And in this case, I don't think we're going to have a problem creating content five times better than Redeem Zoomer. Like absolute credit to this channel, they have identified a white space on the YouTube market, but now you have a chance to capitalize on that. Create better quality videos on the same topics that have performed well in this channel and you're on to a winner. But if you weren't willing to go face to face with a Presbyterian, uh, there is another way you can win here. Do this for other religions like Buddhism, Muslim, Islam, Hinduism, or do it for all of them. Create an empire of religion channels. I mean, if there's one thing that the Catholic Church has proved, there's a lot of money to be made by building an audience backed by faith. You know what time it is. It's time for the one pager. The next channel idea is called Point West. Now, before I tell you exactly what it does, this is another channel called Odd Compass. They make animated history videos about underappreciated events and people in Asian history. And they have a very high thousand subs per video ratio, which indicates that there's a lot of commitment in this audience and they're quite loyal to the content that's created on this channel. And I would recommend doing one of two things here. The first and easiest thing to do here is copy their exact format. And instead of talking about Asian history, talk about European history or American history. But I think there's a better way to do this because you see, we have no data backing up that this format is going to work for a different region like Europe or America. We can have strong suspicions and assumptions, but in this case, we have nothing concrete and where possible, we want to use the data we have to hand. And the data that we do have to hand is that people like watching these videos about Asian history. So we're going to beat the market in this case by changing the length of the videos, which is method number two to winning on my YouTube course. So I guess now you have less of an incentive to buy it. But what does changing the length mean? Well, it's very, very simple. We just make longer videos. Instead of doing 10 to 20 minute long videos that Odd Compass does here, we make 45 to 60 minute long videos in the exact same topics. 
This will change the scope of the video slightly, but what we are doing is we're opening up to a brand new market of viewers that want to watch these videos. Because somebody wanting to watch a 10 minute video is very different to somebody who wants to watch a 60 minute long video. And we have data showing that there's demand for this content. Given the animation style of this content, you may want to adjust the video style according to your budget. Because 60 minute animated videos are going to be quite expensive, but it doesn't mean you can't win. Did you hear that? It's time for the one pager. Sorry, that was awful. Idea number five is the easiest channel to do on the list, but I'm not gonna talk about it because it was one of my researchers, Gareth, that actually found it. So let's cut to Gareth. When I was doing research for Whitespace, our YouTube idea newsletter, I found this channel called Escaping Ordinary and they make videos condensing lessons from books into 20 minute videos. They have an insanely high views to video ratio and the demand here is one that can unlock serious ad re AdSense revenue if you do it right. I suggest we copy the exact same format, but we implement it for another vertical like TV or podcasts. This will work for any any form of media that helps educate the viewer i'm calling it lessons in tv just bear in mind market size the audience of people that watch tv is much greater than those listening to podcasts and i hear you have a surprise for everyone i do here's the one pager see that call i just had the one with really high quality had no background noise and looked really professional okay i'm gonna stop acting now uh we did use a tool called wave room and it's a tool that allows you to record calls, interviews, podcasts, and kind of whatever you want. And it is amazing. And this is normally the time where I would give you a discount code to use, but there's none in this case because, well, it's free for now anyway. So hurry up, use the link down below to download it and let me know how you go. Idea number six, we're staying in the same realm of summaries here, but we're making it much more entertaining. This is a channel called Brief Tune, and they make recap videos for popular cartoons. And the best part about this channel is that they have a format that works and they haven't deviated from it one bit. Don't fix what's not broken kind of vibes. And where the opportunity here lies for us is applying this concept outside of cartoons. Think TV shows. Something tells me that creating a 20 minute summary of say a show like Prison Break has a much bigger audience than that of a cartoon. And you more or less have an unlimited number of videos because there are so many great TV shows out there. Now one warning about this channel, this is a channel focusing on views, not audience building. And due to the nature of this content, it's going to be harder to get recurring viewers, meaning you're less likely to build an audience and sell a product down the line. But hopefully you make so much money from AdSense that you don't care. I think there's a bit of dust on the camera. Oh no, it's just the one pager. I am really excited about this next channel because it's, it's not that hard to implement. It can make a lot of money with AdSense, but in my mind, it can make multi-millions through other proven revenue streams. To talk you through this idea, this is a channel called Mysterious Tech. It's a channel where, well, he reviews tech, <laughs> but with one catch, he wears a mask while making the videos. And amazingly, he has managed to break through what is one of the most competitive spaces on YouTube, all through wearing a mask. And he's not the only one to leverage this technique. Dream did the exact same thing for the gaming market. And I'm amazed that people haven't done this for other markets. But if I were to do this for the channel recommendation, there's one specific market that I would recommend, and that is car reviews. Car reviews get millions of views per video and there's a never ending amount of content coming out because there's never ending amount of cars coming out. And the audience watching these videos have an incredibly high intent to buy. This means that advertisers who advertise on YouTube are willing to spend a lot more money to show their ad in front of your viewers. And number two, you can then leverage that intent to buy to create your own products. If you follow the same path as car YouTuber Doug DeMuro did, you're on your way to eight figures. So go and buy a mask on Amazon and ask your mom to film you with their car. Also, ask her to have a look at that one pager. The next channel idea is Derek. Um, we're calling it Alder Eagle. This here is a YouTube channel called Avocado Animations, and they make animated videos that turn popular trends into weird and kind of scary stories. For example, they recently took advantage of Mr. Beast curing people's blindness, and they made their own version. Yeah, so anyway, uh, this is the opportunity. This channel has an insanely high thousand views per video ratio and thousand subs per video ratio. So high that I think there's room for somebody to just directly copy this channel. Their animations are excellent, so I find it hard to believe that you're gonna be two or three X better than him on a content side, but I think you can beat him on one thing, speed. 
Unfortunately for Avocado Animations, they don't post regularly. I think this is because they have a small team creating these videos that take a long time to make. So if you are really ambitious, I would recommend hiring a team of animators, a couple of script writers, and maybe a trend spotter and try and produce one video a week. This is one of those channels that you'll spend a lot of money to get off the ground, but if you do it correctly, you're gonna make it back in multiples, trust me. I can hear Avocado Animations cursing me right now. Oh no, wait, sorry, that's just the one pager. Of all of the videos, the final channel is the one that's gonna have the highest revenue per thousand views. I'm calling it Your History, but first, take a look at this channel here called Beginning to Know. They make long form history documentaries exploring civilizations that shaped the modern world as we know it today. Whew, I need to take a breath after saying that. And when I say long form videos, I really mean long form videos. Each video that they create are one to two hours long and that's their secret, that's their competitive advantage. You see, if you create videos that are five to 10 times longer than everybody else, you've entered a new market, a market with much fewer competitors, a market of likely just you. And for those brave soldiers that create videos of that length, they are rewarded handsomely. And I think we can use beginning to now as inspiration for creating our own one to two hour documentaries about the history of countries. Don't ask me why, but we have a lot of data telling us that people are obsessed with the history of their countries. And there is no one creating content of this length of that nature on YouTube. That for me is a tick. I'm after running out of jokes for the one pager, so <laughs> here it is. If you like these channel ideas, you might like these ones up here too. That's all for me. We'll see you in the next one, Sloan, and stay hydrated.